feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Get me close, collide Hold tight Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching for take. I was using the extended XT on my OnePlus 9 RT and that ROM is supported officially for the lots of devices. You can check its in-depth analysis video from the iCard. Similarly, Pixel X is the pure AOSP Pixel based ROM. It has two variants, Pixel Experience and the Pixel Experience Plus. Official Pixel Experience also supports lots of devices including OnePlus 9 RT. This team supports some major devices from the Asus, Google, Lenovo, Motorola, Nokia, Nothing Phone, OnePlus and lots of OEMs. You can check your device compatibility from the links given under the video description. Today I will install the unofficial test build of Pixel Experience Plus for the OnePlus 9RT which has Oxonos camera pre-installed. We will do its in-depth analysis. Thanks to developer of 9RT Inferno for supporting this forgotten device of OnePlus. You can use this video as a reference video how this ROM looks and performs for their devices. Few months before I also created first build of Pixel Experience Plus. There I shown all the features you can check that from the iCard. Flashing of ROM is different for other devices. I have given the written instruction links for the OnePlus 9RT under video description. If you are on the Oxonus 12, then follow the video given in iCard for flashing the Oxonus 12 on the both the slots. Then install Oxonus 13, F14 on the both the slots of your device using local install. Don't use Oxonus 13, F15 as a base that works for installation but may cause some bugs in the ROM. After that, follow the instructions that I am showing now. If you are already on the any Android 13 based custom ROM, then also you can start from these steps. Your device bootloader must be unlocked and USB debugging must be enabled. Download boot, DTBO and vendor boot and full ROM zip file from the links given under the video description. Other devices users follow their own flashing instruction and files. Now use the advanced power menu to boot your device into the fast boot mode or power up the device and long press the volume down plus power button. This will boot your phone into the fast boot mode, then connect it to the PC. Open PowerShell window in the same folder where you place all the files. Press Shift key of keyboard plus right click of your mouse. Select Open PowerShell window from the drop down menu. Now in the CMD type fast boot devices. Then flash the boot by using the command as you can check on the screen. Then flash vendor boot. Then flash DTPO. Now using the volume and power button. Boot your device into the recovery. Your device will boot into the Pixel Experience recovery. Now tap apply update in the recovery. Then tap apply from the ADB. Now in the CMD type ADB side load and drag the full ROM zip file and hit enter. Flashing will start. It may stuck at the 47% but don't worry at last it will show you 1x for notification means your flashing is done. Now remove the USB cable and in the recovery tap back arrow key. Then tap factory set, then select format data. Once done, reboot to the system. Today in this video, we will check out what's new we will find in about phone section. Then we will do the performance and CPU stability test in comparison with the old build of Pixel Experience Plus for the 9RT. Added one more performance check called as the user interface jitter test. At last, I shown what's new features were added by the team in this build with the full review of Oxonus camera and the perks. Other devices user watch this video for general overview of Pixel Experience Plus. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. It's a new So phone booted with the simple and elegant boot animation of Pixel Experience Plus, complete the initial setup and now let's check out the about phone. This is the same Android 13 with the material clocked history. Sadly Android security patches of February 2023, maybe official build will be released with the March security patches. Kernel version is 5.4.219, build date of this unofficial test build is 20th March 2023. Other users, you may get the official build from the links given under the video description for their devices. 
and that may have the different security patches, kernel version and build number as per their build type. As I already told that we will start with the performance test. In that we will first check out the jitter test using the UI Bench application. Link of this app is given under the video description. It helps to confirm how is the scrolling smoothness in your firmware. If your device values ranges between 0.0, .0 to 1 millisecond, then it's a very good score and your device swiping and scrolling smoothness is very good. It is good until 3 milliseconds, but if it goes above that, then it's not good. Here for the Pixel S friends, I constantly got the values between 0.2 to 1 millisecond only. So this unofficial build has very good jitter index and in real life, it's really buttery smooth than real life butter. Test your own device jitter test using this application and let us know in the comment section how it is. Now let's check out the Geekbench score for this ROM. I kept show screen refresh rate display using the developer setting. It remains 120Hz when you are actively using the screen and it goes to the 60Hz when it's inactive. Means when we didn't touch the screen. It's pretty battery saving approach of the ROM which is very good. If we enable the first 120Hz toggle in a developer setting, now screen FPS remains constantly on 120Hz. But it goes down to 60 for some applications like the camera, YouTube video playbacks, etc. Let's run the CPU performance test for the Geekbench. I got the score of 1447 and 3475 for the single and multi core respectively, which is the highest result till the date I got as compared to any old custom ROM, but it's similar with the extended XT. For older PE, Plus, it's just 1068 and 3213. I ran the GPU performance test. For the OpenGL, I got the score of 3697, while for the Hulkan graphics, I got the score of 4535. For the latest extended XT, OpenGL and Hulkan scores was 3725 and 4894 respectively. Extended XT has slightly better results for the GPU as compared to the P+. For older P+, Hulkan score was just 4214. So the latest test build of the P plus performance is better than any other custom ROM but similar with the extended XT. Now let's check out the CPU stability. We will see if this build has good capabilities to maintain the CPU performance at the higher temperature and CPU intensive task. Use the CPU throttle application. Its link is given under the video description. Remember run it only for the 5 minutes on the 20 threads. Don't use more than these values. When I ran the test for the 5 minutes, I got minor yellow lines in the graph during the test. Means CPU throttling was happened at the negligible level. At the end of the test, phone back was pretty hot. We'll check its temperature later after the test. When I stopped the test, I got the score of 90% which is very good score. As summer is going on here in India and the outer environment is pretty warm and we did such heavy tests in such environment, still it performed well. Last extended XT given 93% of score. CPU temperature of device risen between 49 to 55 degrees Celsius. Still ROM managed to maintain the CPU throttling and ultimately CPU performance. So I will not waste any time what basic functions are working because we already tested all the things in old build. Still functions like the Wafa, Wafa hotspot, NFC, GPS location, Bluetooth connections. Fingerprint reader, face unlock, OnePlus alert slider, all are working fine. Even all the sensor sensors like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope are working fine. Other things like the ear proximity, ear speakers, microphone, flashlight, display, multi-touch are working fine, no issues they have at all. A snap safety net check was already passed in the old build and in this build, it also got successfully passed so we can run all the banking application in this ROM. I used Axis Bank, Uno SBI and they are working well. Let's check out the minor features added by the team. Other in-depth features review has been done in a old video. Please check them from the iCard or from the links given under the video description. Call recording function has been added in this build and it's working fine. You will find the recorded calls under the call lock section. Instead of this new ambient EQ toggle will found under the display tab of the setting, which helps to adjust the ambient display brightness dramatically according to the surroundings, which helps to save more battery even if you are using the always on display. 
High touch polling rate toggle is also available here which helps to increase the touch polling rate but as per developer it suggests placebo setting means it's not working. Now let's check out the, some important application. First one is the Dolby Atmos. ROM has the inbuilt Dolby Atmos. You will find it under the app drawer. This application will dramatically change your device sound quality to the next level which is amazing. So finally developers added some OnePlus applications like the OnePlus Gallery and the camera. OnePlus Gallery version is the latest and is working good. Now comes the most important part that is OnePlus camera which we have been waiting from the decades and it's finally available. Let's check out if this application is working or not. Camera version is latest it's 3.446.10. So photos and video shootings working absolutely fine in this camera application. Let's check out other features of camera. All ultra wide camera angle modes are working fine for the photos and video shooting. Portrait mode for the both the front and selfie main camera are working very good. I tested the portrait pictures quality and it's very good. Blur effect is working properly for background object instead of subject. Video shooting has ultra steady mode stabilization and it's working very good. AI mode is working properly. 180p 60fps recording along with the 4K 60fps is working. I shooted videos with the 4K 60fps and they are very clear and shooted well. Under more setting, who gets the pro mode and it's fully working. Panorama mode available and it's also working fine. Micro photo shooting working fine. Movie mode is available with all the feature and it's also working good. Dual view mode is working fine for the both the front and selfie main camera. Slow motion video recording working fine. I have taken this sample video, it seems worked fine. Night mode is working only for the main camera but if you try to use the selfie camera, camera screen goes blank and later we can't able to use the camera even after we force close it. To make it work again we have to clear its data and the cache in the application setting. That's the only bug I found for the camera. Camera is pretty well and usable. This camera in the first attempt seems fully working which is good news for all OnePlus 9RT users. Other device users may or may not get the stock ROM camera in the custom ROM. It depends on your device developer to add ported camera in the custom ROMs. Now let's check out the bugs. I didn't found any major bug except that night mode bug for the selfie camera. Except that's very old issue of all unlocked devices that is wide wine is L3. It's a common issue for all the custom ROM. So you can't able to use the Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD solution on such ROMs. Otherwise nothing to worry for OnePlus 9RT users. Still it's a test build so you may face any other issues also. Other device users may face different bugs as per their device models. Mention your bugs in the comment section with your device name. So that's it for today guys. Pixel Experience Plus is one of the best and top contender ROM in the list along with the Lineage OS. It's preferred by most top users because of its amazing AOSP performance with stability and amazing support by the developer team. So if you are a fan of Pixel device look then definitely go for it. It will never regret you. Finally if this video helped you then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.